Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shantae's Way here today. So today I'm going to be telling you guys about all the vitamins I take, um, a little bit of my recommendations as far as my opinion. They're not, you know, I'm not a doctor. I am a health coach, but I'm not a doctor. So I can't give you guys any type of health advice, but I'm going to give you what I personally do in my personal life. Okay, so I want to first start by saying taking vitamins is a very important part of making sure that you get all your nutrients in. A long time ago, I would think, oh, I eat well. It doesn't matter. I don't have to take vitamins. But I quickly found that that was not the right way to think. A lot of times, even if you're eating right, you're not necessarily getting all the vitamins you need for the day. Now, I know that people take vitamins for hair growth, for clearer skin, for all types of different reasons, but for me, I take vitamins for health. And I just recently started getting back on my vitamin kick and re really, really taking the vitamins and really taking it uh, serious because I found out that I was um, low in my potassium and I could not figure out why, but all the symptoms that that were for low potassium and my symptoms that I was having matched. So when I found that out, I decided that I was going to go all out and I got a lot of vitamins and I've been taking them. Um, so I want to talk about the ones that I've mainly been taking. Okay, so first of all, I keep my vitamins in my cabinet and I keep all my herbs and, oh. I keep all my herbs and stuff in the little basket. So I keep everything together so that when I go and reach for my vitamins in the morning time or when I'm about to take my vitamins, I see all the vitamins. So I'm not leaving anything out. So let's go ahead and start by the one that I take daily. And I actually take this because it has all of the nutrients in this um, vitamin. So it's the prenatal once daily um, whole food multivitamin by My Kind Organic. So this one is really, really good. I love My Kind brand. My, can my Kind brand is my favorite vitamins because they don't put any other mess in their vitamins. I think they keep their vitamins very clean, as clean as possible. Um, so sometimes you can be getting a vitamin and they'll be like, oh, it's for this. But then you look at the back and it has like so many different things in it. So I like that this this brand keeps everything pretty simple. So you'll see that I do use my kind a lot. I don't um, like to buy anything from any other brand. Um, the other brands that I do buy from are pretty good, but this is my favorite. So uh, it's the Garden of Life My Kind Organics, and they use certified organics. This is just a daily vitamin. It's just to make sure that I'm getting all my nutrients. I only have one of these left, so I have to get some more. Oh my God, I didn't even realize that. Do I even have one of these left? This one is just to get in all my nutrients. So it is a prenatal vitamin. It is for people who are um, pregnant. I'm not pregnant, but I do like to take these even though because it's good for you it's good for you it's good for if you're pregnant it's good for your baby um so i personally love these it's my favorite the pill is kind of big let me show you what the pill looks like that's what the pill looks like it's a big pill i don't like to take these are not my favorite vitamins to take they are do not and it also doesn't taste well like you have to swallow it very quickly unless you know i'm used to it now but when i first started taking this it was really hard i was like why does this taste that horrible so anyways that is the first vitamins that i take daily it's um the vitamin that i take the most what does it have in here it has vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K. It has, oh my God, it has so much stuff in here. It has magnesium. It has um, a whole bunch of herbs. It has blackberry fruit. It has all types of different fruits in it. It's amazing, and I, I highly recommend this one. So these next vitamins that I take, um, I will say that when I first got these vitamins, I literally didn't even know what I was going to do with them. Um, so they're the pomegranate vitamins and they're literally just straight up pomegranate crushed into a pill so it's the nature's way um vitamin and i do like nature's way as well you'll notice that all of my brands that i get are very like they're very strict on what they put in their vitamins so nature's way is a another brand that is kind of strict on what they do and what they put in their vitamins so this is what this vitamin looks like 
and I'm taking these out and touching them because I'm gonna take them after this video anyways. I will say that with, with the pomegranate one, the main reason I got it is for how rich it is in antioxidants. Um, Cause antioxidants is really, really good for your skin. And it's also really good for your body as a whole. But definitely associate pomegranate vitamins with maybe like cranberry vitamins. Um, a lot of people take cranberry vitamins. I didn't personally get cranberry vitamins because it does make you go to the bathroom a lot. The pomegranate ones are not as bad with making you go to the restroom as much. And it also has a lot of vitamins in the pomegranate. Um, you have vitamin C, vitamin B, vitamin K. It's a really, really good source of potassium. I'll tell you guys that my potassium was low. Also reduces inflammation. So if you're having any of those problems, I think that um, getting pomegranate vitamins are really a good decision for you. It was a good decision for me. But I don't take these as regularly as I take the other one. So I do skip a day on these or I may not take them for a couple of days. I don't recommend that you take it that way. I do recommend that you're consistent with your vitamins, but me personally, I hate taking pills. So after I take that first pill, which is the big prenatal, I don't want to take anything else. Um, but you want to be very consistent with your vitamins so that you know you can feel the effects and your body can take notice to what you're doing. So these are the ones that I had got recommended to get from a friend and it's called Maca. Is it maca? And this is the brand that I use. So Ray. So Ray, I think I'm saying that right. And this is the organic, organically grown maca. And it also is, um, I made sure that it was straight up maca. I wanted it to be very pure. So some of the benefits of taking maca, I hope I'm saying that right, is more towards your energy and just having a stronger um, libido. Some people take it to increase their fertility. Um, I just heard that it gives you a lot of energy, but I was very disappointed when I got it because I didn't notice a difference. I even took it consistently for, for a while and I still wasn't getting um, that energy boost. But you know what? I found out that I was low in potassium. So if you're low in one thing and then you try to get a vitamin for another thing, you have to get something that's going to wholly affect the body, like something that's going to have a lot of different stuff in it because the maca may not be strong enough for for me. Um, if I'm not having, if I have low potassium, I'm still going to be tired. So I noticed that it wasn't really giving me that energy boost that everyone was saying that they got from taking it. Um, I also realized that I don't know if this happened with anybody else, but I realized that if, when I was taking this consistently, I was very hungry. I was eating a lot more, and um, I started to feel like I was gaining weight. So I reduced the amount of maca that I was taking. Um, like I said, it's different from for everybody, so it may I may be not knowing, but let me know down in the comment section if you've taken this vitamin and it's made you gain weight or it's affected your weight in some way. Okay, so this next vitamin that I have is Guarding a Life. My Kind Organics Women's Multivitamin. I absolutely love these. Now these are gummies. Let's see if my camera focuses. But that's what it looks like. And I will say that these vitamins are not that bad. But to be honest, I don't like the vitamins, uh, the gummy vitamins. I don't think they taste good. So this one's very similar to the prenatal multivitamin. The only difference is, is that you are gonna chew it and it also has a flavor to it. So it has organic berry flavor. This is made with real food and it's a dietary supplement. So you want to take this if you are not always able to eat. Maybe if you're on the go and you're not always eat, able to eat your vegetables and your fruits, this has Oh my god, like, look at that. Is it gonna focus? It has a long list of vitamins that are in here. Um, not even just vitamins, but like, they have so much fruit in here, so much, so much vegetables in here. So they have beets, broccoli, carrots, spinach, tomatoes, strawberries, cherries, blackberry, green bell pepper, um, Brussels sprouts, ginger root. This is just filled with a whole bunch of stuff. They even have, did I just see onion? Or organic green onion. Wow, I did not know onion was in here. They even have um, cranberry fruit in here. Wow. So this is, oh, and all of my 
my um, vitamins that I'm mentioning are vegan. This one right here is my favorite. These two right here, the My Kind Prenatal and the Multi Women's Vitamins are my favorite. These are the ones that I take every single day because they have so much good stuff in it. This is such a big container. I feel like it's gonna last for a while. So I've been having these for a while and it, and it lasts. Right. So the next vitamin, I told you guys that I was low, my, I found out it's low in my potassium. So I do have potassium um, vitamins and potassium is very important now you may be like oh potassium you can get that from bananas no <laughs> obviously not because I was still tired um, I, I say if like you eat bananas every single day maybe but I feel like that you definitely need to stay on top of the vitamins like I can't stress that enough. Um, so here are some signs that your potassium is low. I wrote some down. And I feel weak and fatigued. So I was always feeling tired. I could not figure out why I was so tired. Um, I was trying different things. I was doing yoga sometimes and I still was tired. There was also some other things which I'll explain to you guys in a different video. Um, and some things that I've changed in my diet as well. So I was, if you guys wanna see a video on that, an entire video on that, comment down below and let me know. If you're having muscle, a lot of muscle cramps, and muscle spasms, um, just achy, stiff muscles. That's also um, a sign that your potassium is probably low. Also, if you're having digestive problems, like if you're you're not able to go to the bathroom or maybe you're going to the bathroom too much, that has to do with your potassium being low. Also, if your heart is palpitating um, really fast at times, I would have that happen. Like I would stand up and my heart would just be like, boom, 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 boom. and I'd be like, what the heck? Like, why is my heart beating? that fast I didn't even do anything I'm literally sitting in the same spot and also if you feel a lot of numbness and oh my gosh this was the one thing that when I read these um, symptoms I was like oh my god my potassium is low because I was feeling weak in my legs a lot like it was not it was like my blood wasn't getting through like it wasn't circulating in my body a lot and I was like what is going on like I I don't understand I eat so good I eat so well so I actually went to a um, I went to someone who get more into just medical symptoms because a lot of times it's more than medical symptoms I want to talk to people who who want who really get into like what's wrong with you so the person that I talked to she was like your potassium's low. Um, she was like, I, 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 sometimes you feel weak, right? And I'm like, yes, I do. So she's the one who helped me. I really give big props to people who do like herbal medicines and people who do like holistic health and stuff like that. I'm a holistic health coach. So I like to go to people who look at the whole entire body. This potassium pills, um, they have been working. I like them, but I don't know it's something about some of these vitamins they make me hungry do anyone else feel that way like, like when you take the vitamins they make you eat more one last thing I wanted to mention about potassium it does affect your mood so if you're always very moody if you always feel like that you're you're mentally tired that can also be um, like a vitamin deficiency deficiency can I not talk so I also wanted to bring up these right here and this is what is is called a parasite cleanse so this is a parasite cleanse and this one is a digestive blend now I got these because I like to cleanse my body I like to do detoxes regularly so that's why I got these um, I actually this year well last year I didn't do a detox the normal detox that I do so this year in the summertime is normally when I do it because it's hot outside you can drink a whole bunch of smoothies and stuff and not feel like you're missing something um, I do those cleanses and I like to wipe out everything. I like to do like a raw cleanse and I take and do these teas. Well, let me tell you, this parasite cleanse and this digestive cleanse is no joke. The girl who makes these, she's um, on Instagram. Her name is Let's Be Vegan on Instagram. She really does put her time into finding these herbs. This is a very, 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 very strong tea. I can't even handle it. No sweetness to it. It is very bitter. It is there to help you. So when I was taking this, I lasted a week on the cleanse. You're supposed to do it for two weeks. I did the entire parasite cleanse 
and I actually seen things guys but the thing about this is you are going to you're not gonna like it you're not gonna like the way this tea tastes it's not good and I don't like to sweeten my teas um, but I do put lemon in it to make it bearable because if I don't put something in this I can't even drink it because that's how disgusting it is so I do recommend that if you are really really into getting your health together do herbs 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 are really really good for your body and I highly recommend them so that's an entire herbal mix both of those are herbal mixes they have let me see if I can show you guys okay they have herbs in the bag and Ugh, it doesn't even smell good. So these are really good um, for if you want to really, really get in and get your body cleaned out. Girl, you will get your life by taking that one. Okay, so let's go on to a few more. Oh my God, I've been talking for so long. I'm so sorry, this video is gonna be long. Okay, so let's go into the little bit more of the herbs that I take. So I also take black walnut and wormwood, and this is something that I was taking back in 2017. I have not done it since. When does this expire? Oh my gosh. I need to get back on taking my herbs regularly. I'm not gonna lie to you guys and, and make it seem like I'm perfect because I'm not. I be forgetting, I be skipping days. Okay, it's not expired. Okay, so this one I got from Whole Foods. All my herbs I get from Amazon and Whole Foods. Um, all my vitamins I get from Amazon and Whole Foods. I also go to a health food store called Rainbow Blossom sometimes. Um, I also got this Golden Echinacea. And echinacea is really good for helping you when you feel sick, if you're having a low immune system, if you're, if you're stopped up, you can put echinacea in your tea, you can just put a few drops of echinacea and it'll make you feel better. So I like to, I really like to um, use echinacea as well. I also have burdock root that I take and marshmallow root that I take. Um, and I put, I make teas with those. So I'll put them into like a tea caster. What is it called? A tea holder. <laughs> and I'll make a herbal tea out of my own herbs that I pick out from the health food store. As far as Naraya goes, for kids, I feel like it's very important to help them and get them on their vitamins. So I got these vitamins from Whole Foods. She doesn't have any more of her vitamin C because she loves the way that they taste and she like is on it every morning. She's like, mommy, I had to take my vitamins because she loves the way they taste. Um, so these are probiotics and they're from um, Whole Foods, it's a Whole Foods brand. These are also vegan. I make sure that her vitamins are all vegan as well. Um, so this one has, um, this one does have sugar in it, right? Yeah, it does have sugar in it. Um, the thing with kids is you don't want them to feel like they don't want to take their vitamins. So if you get like hard pills or if I try to make her take like stuff that's too too far out from what she's used to, she's not going to want to take her vitamins. So I did get vitamins that are colorful, the vitamins that maybe will have a little bit more in it than just the vitamin because I want her to take them. Because even when I try to get her to take these vitamins, she didn't really like them that much. She's like... Uh, I don't really like those. So I want her to take something to where she likes to take them so much to where I don't have to tell her to take them. When it comes to herbs, Naraya, I get her the kitty herbs and I get them from the herb, the Rainbow Blossom store. So I have tummy tonics, herbal drops, and this is for when she's feeling sick, I put them into her tea because when she's sick, I make her ginger tea, she hates it. Um, but I make her a ginger tea concoction and I make I put everything in there and I'm like, okay, drink this. <laughs> so these right here are called, like I said, tummy tonic herbs and it's from Gaia Kids. And I always make sure that it's alcohol free. But I love these herbal drops. Um, Naraya does not like to take them. Like I said, it's not her favorite. They're not the best tasting um, tummy tonic tea drops or whatever herbal drops but when she's feeling really sick or when she's feeling like she's not having energy or something I don't ask her I just tell her that she has to take them so you have to kind of be stern sometimes even though your kids are gonna probably not gonna like it but they do need herbs um, at, at some point you want to make sure especially if they hate to eat like vegetables and stuff, just sneak herbs into their foods and stuff like that. Feel better, like kids, even though people are like, oh, they're just kids, oh, they, they don't have like 
issues with their um, mental abilities or they don't have like stress on them. Well, especially if they're in school, Naraya's homeschool, but when she was in school, she would feel um, stressed sometimes. She would come home from school and she would be stressed sometimes. And you know, they need vitamins and they need their, they need their herbs and stuff just like adults do because if they're low on that type of stuff, then it adds even more to their 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 workload, like their school load. Like it adds even more to having to deal with their little life. We know they're kids, but kids are people too. So I personally think it's very important to make sure you give your kids vitamins and herbs as well. So I do have Naraya's little vitamin stash as well. I have to restock hers because like I said, she loves taking her vitamins. Like these are almost gone. Let me show you guys what they look like. I did want to mention that the kids probiotic does help with um, regulating their bowel system. It does it does help with constipation. It aids with reflex, um, any type of um, any type of like digestive type of problems, probiotics is gonna help with because it, it it's supposed to help your gut. So that was my video on vitamins. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know down in the comment section um, what type of vitamins you take. I'll try to link all the vitamins that I mentioned down in the description box. Let me know if you would like for me to create more content like this. Thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!